In this lesson we do some work on area of composite shapes. Some shapes are a combination of two or more plane shapes. And when that's the case, what we're going to do, we're firstly going to divide the original shape into smaller plane shapes. We then find the area of the shapes separately and finally add the areas together. So we've had a shape like this, we need to find the area. We could divide it like that. And then we'd have two rectangles. The top rectangle there would find the area. We'd find the area of the bottom rectangle, then add the two areas together. A shape like this, we could divide it like that. Okay, we've got a triangle at the top and a rectangle down the bottom. A shape like this, there's a number of ways we could split it up. This is one. We could split a line there and a line there. We'd have one, two, three rectangles to find the areas of each, and we'd add them together. Examples. We're asked to find the area, firstly this L-shaped diagram. Well, we could split across there, and that area we'll call 1, and this area we'll call 2. So area 1, let's concentrate on that firstly. A1, area 1 for short, equals length times breadth. Okay, it is a rectangle. The length times breadth, the length is 8, the breadth is 5. So 8 times 5, we calculate that, works out to be 40 square centimetres. Let's concentrate now on this shape. It's a rectangle as well. We'll call this area 2. Again, because it's a rectangle, equals length times breadth. So the length times breadth, the length is 11, the breadth is 9. So it equals 11 times 9. And that works out to be 99 square centimetres. The final step to find the total area, matter of adding area 1 to area 2. So let's write that, A1 plus A2. And when we think about that, A1 was 40, A2 was 99. So let's write that down as our working. And when we add 40 and 99, we get 139 square centimetres. Excellent. The next one, again, an L-shaped diagram. All right, this time upside down. If we split across there, area 1, area 2, and let's focus on area 1 to start with. It is a rectangle, so we're going to write A1, area 1, equals length times breadth. LB, length times breadth. The length is 10 metres, the breadth is 3 metres, so we write 10 times 3, and that works out to be 30 square metres. Area 2, also a rectangle. So we write area 2 equals length times breadth, LB. Now this time though, this length, we don't know it. Okay, so let's just focus on that. Let's get rid of everything else. Let's focus on that. We need to look at the whole diagram to work out this missing length. Well, if we consider the whole height of the shape as 9 metres, and part of the height is 3 metres, then 3 metres plus something will make up the 9 metres. Okay, what is that something? Did you say 6 metres? Of course you did. Okay, now once we've got that, let's go back to our working. So length times breadth, where the length is 6 metres, the breadth is 4 metres, so let's write 6 times 4, and 6 times 4 is 24, so it equals 24 square metres. Alright, final step now, the total area. Well, that's a matter of adding the area 1 and area 2, so let's write that. And A1 plus A2, area 1 was 30, area 2 was 24. 30 plus 24 equals 54 square metres.